Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a good day one of Cheltenham. Today's video is going to be about Betfair Dobbin. I'm going to show you on the screen how to play some dobs. I'm going to give you free resources that are all free to use. I'm going to show you how I look for dobs, uh, some other criteria and also leave you some links to another video that I did about Dobbin two months ago where the trade lost. Now you might be thinking, why I listen to you and you gave us a video on a losing trade. Now the trick with Dobbin is of course to lose less times than you win. So that way you'll profit. So this last video that I'll leave in the link in the description shows you a good example of even if a horse does tick all the boxes with Dobbin, it doesn't necessarily mean it will follow through. Uh, I also did another video of Dobbin Modified, how you can reduce risk and also Betfair Trading, how you can gain 50% edge in the market. That's not clickbait. That is all facts, so I'll leave them in the description. So today's um, Dobbin, we're going to base it on Calm Berry's short, um, short list of front runners. I'll leave this in the description. He's giving one here, 350 at Sedgefield, Cousin Oscar. Now incidentally, this one here in the 250 that he gave, Frodom, was the horse that I gave two months ago and it's lost. And I've washed my hands of that horse because it doesn't seem, it seems to have lost its mojo. It did front run last time, but the market didn't follow uh, its behaviour um, and the time before that as well. So thanks, Frodon. You've been a loyal servant. Frodon's won me a lot of money dobbing before, and it just so happened the time I did a video on it, he made me look like an idiot. So we're following Khan's front runner list. Again, the link's down below. Cousin Oscar, 350 at Sedgefield. Come on to Betfair. Back Cousin Oscar, 350 at Sedgefield. It's odds are 22, it's quite big odds. Usually that will put some people off, but I'll explain why it's not putting me off this time because I've already done some research into this. Disregard this dancing poet, um, I had a small trade on that. So we're gonna lay Cousin Oscar at half the odds that we backed it with. So a dob is double or bust. So if this horse does not lay in running, we've lost our stake. So half of 22, no mathematicians required, is half of 22 is 11 so we're hoping this horse contracts into 11 in running and then if it does we've won 10 pound so press place bets confirm and then press keep now usually i wouldn't recommend doing a horse it's now 310 i wouldn't recommend doing a horse 40 minutes away from the off because sometimes these can uh, uh drift out a lot in odds but i'd already done this one and I weren't going to do a video, but I'm showing you now. But don't do this usually. <clears throat> so how? what other resources can we use? We can use Timeform to uh, check the previous runs. This is free. I'll leave the link below. And also Inform Racing. Now, Inform Racing isn't free on every meeting, but it just so happens today's meeting that we're focusing this video on, it's got a free, it's one of their free meetings. Now, how Timeform, how Inform works, you say, for example, there's five meetings in one day. The race time that starts the earliest, they'll give you free access to that meeting. Now, that's for life. If you click that link down below in the description box, you'll have access to a one free meeting per day for life. So we're going to look at the data of Cousin Oscar because it can be worrying to some people backing a dob at such big odds of 22. Now, I've already done some research on this. And I did see that Cousin Oscar has been a good boy. As we can see here, it provides a lot of the data that Timeform does, but just a bit more. So we can see there's the last 10 races there. However, with Timeform, it goes right back there. This in Inform Racing, I like it a bit more clearer. We can see the date it run at, the racetrack, the distance, the go in, G means good, GS means good to soft, number of runners in that race, the class of the race, the prize money, uh, the official rating of the horse that time, uh, the weight the horse had, the uh, age of the horse, like it's obviously it was nine and then it was eight those times. So spanning over two or three years, uh, the trainer, the run style. Now this run style is a crucial vital piece of information that you can get on Inform Racing at a glance. Well, I'll show you in a moment about that. Um, and this is one of the main things when you're doing front runners on Dobbin, you want to see some data at a glance. You don't want to do like this, uh, go on to um, 
I was going to say sporting life. It ain't been around for years. You don't want to go into the racing post and then scroll through the date through the um, through the form here. I forgot the name of the horse already. You're cracking up, cousin Oscar. So the way to do it with the form book, you would have to read through all of this. I'm just showing you as a comparison, cousin Oscar. You can see jump left on occasions, joined four out, niggled along, uh, close up, led ran led on the third. Um, made it all so it looks like it is doing what it says on these statistics but rather than read all that you can get a glance here and see the run style when it means one it means it was leading the majority of the race at the start of the race so you can see one 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 like that is very impressive you don't usually see that many and it's a very good example for me to show for a horse like this um, but another way you can do it is just by hovering over the race now you can see Purple King is not our horse, but as, as you can see down the bottom here, the last 20 run styles, it's been up there. It's been up there, it's, not, it's been chasing the leaders throughout the races in most of the races. But compared to Cousin Oscar, Cousin Oscar is second, second, one, one, one. Like you can say 75% of them are ones almost. And that's what I like about this informed racing. Like I said, it's free to use. You can hover over the name and kind of get a general gist for it before you go digging further because you can hover over the horse and think yeah that's like this one here the navigator has come forth all them times you know the navigator is not going to be challenging for the lead so you can see that that is a consistent front runner but the thing that's impressive about cousin oscar because like what i said in this uh on the betfair market it's come in a little bit there you could make a 50p green for a 10 pound which is okay but that's because i've got another trade there but anyway i'm confusing things because it was 22.0 some people would find that a bit off putting but have a look at the data for before so we can see the sp there and then the betfair sp so sp two two to one is 3.0 it's always bigger apart from if it was an arb which you're not going to find pre-race it's always bigger bsp so we can see let's check how many runs it has dobbed in, in the last 10 it didn't dob here because it was 3.13 and it went into 2.64 5.27 into 5.0 4.40 into 1.10 and that's because it won that day it was 1.00 which actually it should be 1.00 this day 9.25 into 2.1 that's a lot that's i mean for a dob it would only need 4.6 and it went into 2.1. 18.5 there to 1.98. 5.39, there more than Dob. 5.36 it won because it was 1.01. This is the most impressive one. 29.38 into 3.05. Um, and then 11, Dob there 3.3 and 6.6, so we're at 1. So it's only the last two that it hasn't Dob for. So can you forgive Cousin Oscar for not Dobbing the last two? when it stopped every single one there and like I was saying the most highlighting factor is that if you're a bit edgy about backing at bigger odds which some people do when they're dobbing you've got to think well look 29.38 then that, that is a lot bigger than 22 it went into 3.05 18.5 went into 1.98 so we've got that coupled with the fact that when we hover over this we can see at a glance it leads all the time there's no other horses that we can see at a glance there so use the link down below for this guys that you'll get this uh, free meeting uh, for life when you click on that link you don't um, you don't even need to log in to to get the free date you just need to sign up and then you can go in through that way so if we want to double check on this one on time form because it goes back even further than those 10 we can see just for verification that where are we cousin oscar industry starting price 3.3 2.64 you see on here it's the same data yeah but time forms goes back further except i'd prefer this because you've got everything clearly laid out you've got it all nice and clear unless you uh, upgrade on time form i don't find it as clear on this but you've got all the data going way back like that. But would would that be relevant though? That's my question. Um, I don't think it would be, but it's always good to see. Like you can see that time it went into 1.05 and it comes second. 
So for all you in-running punters out there, there's proof there. Because I do get critiques sometimes about saying, well, why'd you bother laying them at 1.1 and stuff like that? And that's why. Uh, but that's some free resources there, guys. Number one, Calmberry shortlist. Number two, time form data. Number three, inform racing when uh, it does fall within the free meeting. You can um, get some big discounts if you take out a inform racing membership. So have a look at these uh, videos, guys. If you're new to this kind of game, this video here shows you how it can go wrong. This video here shows you how you don't necessarily have to do a dob, meaning that we put £10 on this race and we're laying 20 Sometimes you can lessen your risk by increasing this to say 15.0 and then decreasing the stake so it's a bit like reducing your stake but reducing the rewards at the same time so i don't know if you find it found this kind of video interesting guys maybe if some of you guys are fully gubbed and you're looking to get into betfair trading but you want some strategy behind it because you don't want to have all the skills and everything this is a good first port of call you've got some data back behind you but just bear in mind, like I said in this video, that even if it ticks all the boxes, it's not necessarily going to happen. I did get critiqued in this other video that I'll show here about Dobbin, where I showed a live Dobbin video, um, and also showed it in this one here, that I said it's gambling, because it is gambling. Anything that anything that requires your, that leaves your stake on the table, um, and you're exposed to losing that stake, is gambling, isn't it? But the argument I've got at that is that's a true statement but also a false statement because although I lost my stake there that you could call that gambling I've won more than what I've lost so let's say I've won 20 trades and I've lost five of them and they've all been on double or busts I'm 15 points up on level stakes profit by the way this video here shows you how you can gain a 50% edge on the market that's not clickbait it's very true but the only problem with that is that um, you'll see in a video if you watch a video. Just as a side note, Canberry has got a 33% discount on his advanced video pack and I've got a video pack review there guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, if you want any more videos similar to this, I can go a bit more in depth and also about informed racing and about time form and how I look for these kind of things. So guys, I hope that video has been of help. If you like this kind of thing, uh, drop it down in the comments section or other video suggestions. The videos mentioned in this video can be found right here. If you click on those, you'll be able to see how that trade went wrong. Also, the Dobbin tweaks how to customize your Dobbs to uh, modify double 50%, or also how to uh, gain an extra 50% in the market. Good luck, guys, and have a good Cheltenham.